Abby. I'm a Summer Reads Vista, Summer 2016. My name is Zed. I'm also a 2016 Summer Reads Vista. And we work at Central Guadalupano at Holy Rosary Church and Rondo Discovery Club. All right, Gabby, why did you decide to become a Summer Reads Vista? I saw an ad at my school and it said it worked with a lot of English language learners. And because I'm an ESL major, I thought it would be great for me. How about you? I saw Summer Reads as an opportunity to do something that I've uh, never tried before never been in a teaching world before. So I wanted to gain a little bit of life experience and do something a little bit out of my comfort zone, something that I had never done before. What's been your best moment as a Vista so far? Uh, my best moment would be seeing the kids when they're happy and playful, especially when one of our students comes to us and is like, friends! <laughs> I'd say that one of the best moments for me so far would be helping a kid read. Like just recently, we had a kid, and I think the word was dangerously, and uh, sitting there with him and letting him sound it out, mm -hmm. and then seeing him struggle, but then keep on working towards it. At the end, he kind of looks at you, like, did I get it right? And then you smile, and he just gets really excited about that. What do you like most about working with me? Well, you're really good with kids. You're good at handling kids when they get kind of crazy. And what about you? One thing I really like about you is how calm you are. You're very under controlled and nothing gets under your skin when you're working with the kids. And then you also have a lot of experience with lesson planning and I've learned a lot about that from you. One thing about Centro Guadalupano that has heavily influenced me is seeing the parents of the kids. They come for the ESL classes. Seeing the dedication and the determination of the parents to go every single day to try to learn English it has been very inspiring. Are you an early bird or a night owl? I like staying up late, but I do like getting up early in the morning. I would definitely say I'm an early bird. I uh, feel like I'm already 16 because I like to go to bed right around 10.30. If it's past 10.30, then I'm like, oh boy. Name a couple of items on your bucket list. I like to travel. I like to make a change in the world. <laughs> sure, those are really good ones. One of the things on my bucket list would be eventually owning a house. I think that's a big deal. Graduating from college, I would like to go to at least four continents and then uh, having a kid. What lesson from your parents do you still live by today? If anything, I think my mom, I remember my mom always telling me like how to have conversations with people that I don't know or people that I would like to get to know. So I remember she would tell me, oh, if if you ever are trying to talk to someone, just compliment them. My mom always used to and still does tell me to uh, be a duck and just kind of let things wash over you. Uh, don't take things personally. Meet people where they're at and just uh, treat people how you want to be treated. 